Hello, dear friends. Welcome to my page, SA Vibes. The family of Senzo Meiwa remain in tears, ladies and gentlemen, as the case of Senzo Meiwa continue to take different turn. And of course, Kelly Kumalo right now is in a very deep situation because her name has been mentioned again in the killing of Senzo Meiwa, according to what has been reviewed by the lead investigator in the case of Senzo Meiwa, Brigadier Bongani Gininda. It shows that Kelly Kumalo Kumalo was the one who masterminded the killing of Senzo Meiwa. This is something that has confused the family so far and of course the family is in different fronts right now and in this video we will be spilling out all the entire details concerning that. Before we give you all the entire facts, we want to welcome all the beautiful nudies. Please kindly follow us, A Vibes, like the video and drop a comment after watching the entire video. Do well to hit on my post notification belt for more updates. Of course, the name of Kelly Kumalo has come up again as far as the case of Senzo Meiwa is concerned because the investigator said, according to his findings, it shows that Kelly Kumalo was behind the killing of Senzo Meiwa. And this is something that Kelly Kumalo is really struggling right now to go to terms with it because according to what we found out, it shows that her team is working so hard, of course, to this proof that their client is involved in such allegations and of course ladies and gentlemen you remember that last year it was reviewed by colonel lamberto stain that kelly kumalo was in contact with accused number one and accused number two and it was shown that they communicated before the taking down of senzo meiwa that is two days before that and after senzo was taken down a day after that they communicated together so all these facts gathered together many people are suspecting that Kelly Kumalo truly knows something about the taken down of Senzo. One of the disturbing thing in the case of Senzo Meiwa is the confusion that the family of Senzo Meiwa is in right now. Some time ago they revealed that Kelly Kumalo knows the truth and must peel out the truth and many people confuse this statement by believing that they were saying Kelly Kumalo was the one who took down Senzo Meiwa. And of course recently when the allegations were made that Kelly Kumalo is the one who took down Senzo Meiwa the brother of late Senzo Meiwa, Sfiso Meiwa, came on the media to say it clearly that Kelly Kumalo is not guilty of taking away the life of Senzo Meiwa. He knows the truth that Kelly Kumalo knows the person who took down Senzo Meiwa, but she isn't the mastermind behind the passing on to glory of his brother. And he was so firm about it that so many people said that he should expunge it on it and he revealed that Gininda is somebody who has been paid so far though he is an investigator in this case to make sure that he covers all the tracks all the facts that concerns this case that is why he is lying putting the name of Kelly Kumalo in front. Now, this has left so many people confused. If Kelly Kumalo is not the one, based on all the facts that have been proven so far in court, who else could be the person? But he, however, maintained that the person who took away the life of Senzo Miwa was in the house with them the day Senzo passed on. And many people have interpreted it that he is talking about no other person but Longa Twala who was in the house because it is reported that the day Senzo Miwa was shot, he came with a gun in the house and they entered a tussle between himself and Zandile Kumalo who is the junior sister of Kelly Kumalo because she was cheating on him by that time with Senzo and since he started fighting with her, Senzo started to separate the fight and he took the opportunity to eliminate him. So according to so many people, this is what they believe right now that Longwe Tuala is the person who took away the life of Senzo. It is not yet proven so far but all of these are speculations based on all the facts that are coming up right now concerning the case of Senzo Mayu. It is so, so sad that this case is still at this level, but the family continue to mount pressure that justice should take its course and the perpetrator should be brought to book 
immediately. So guys, you all tell me what do you think in the comment section about this case.